hello guys and welcome back to flourish with academy now in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to use scratch to create a currency converter app yeah i know this sounds really familiar because we've created a currency converter app before but this is kind of like an update or an upgrade yeah let's put it that way it's kind of like an upgrade to the currency converter app we created last year so I want you to stay tuned and follow the series. Now, this is an intro video and, and I want you to please hold on. Don't skip this. I want you to hold on till the end because, because it's going to do you a lot of good. Now, the reason why we're doing an intro video is for you to see what you're going to be creating at the end of the series. Now, I'm going to be showing you a demo of what you're going to be creating and let's just follow through. Okay. All right. So when you, when you click on the flag, and um, you click on this button right here it shows you the currency you want to convert from now so when you click on let's say for example if you want to select use uh, us dollars you're going to press the number one and then you press enter you can see it selected us dollar and then the sign is showing right there and then you're going to also click click on two and select the currency you want to convert to uh, let's say we want to convert to pounds so i'm going to press three and I press enter you can see the sign also is appearing right here so now these two boxes are for the amounts let's say for example i want to put the amount right here. i want to convert let's say ten thousand dollars you can see show me ten thousand dollars right now i want to convert ten thousand dollars to pounds so i'm going to click on convert and then it just converts it for me right here you can you see so you're saying that ten thousand dollar according to the flourish Street converter app is eight thousand four hundred forty one pounds now let's check that on a popular website called xz.com let's see if our value is actually close so i'm going to type xe.com let's come and now we're going to convert from us dollars to pounds and they were converting ten thousand pounds we're converting ten thousand dollars i'm sorry and then i click on convert now as you can see according to xe.com ten thousand dollars to pounds is around eight thousand so that so it's almost the same place. This is the reason why we're having a dif different value is because of the calculation. But trust me, the logic is the same. Everything is good. All right. So this is what we're going to be achieving in this series of tutorial. And I want you to stay tuned. Now, let's just take a Let's just check another uh, conversion so, to be sure that we um, that the app is working really smooth. So let's click on from and then I'm going to select this time around. I'm converting from sterling from pounds. And I want to convert to yen um, to yen. So that's four. All right. So I'm going to put 10,000 pounds. Now I'm going to convert that. Can you see now 10,000 pounds to a Japanese yen is. Uh, almost a million 1.6 million yen now let's check that on xc to see if it's actually accurate almost accurate all right so we're going to be converting from pounds to japanese yen yeah japanese yen and now this time we're going to be using 10,000 pounds can you see it's still almost the same that's 1.6 million can you see that? So that means that our currency cover tab is working absolutely well. And this is what you'll be able to create in this series of tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you love this. I want you to please subscribe to this channel. I'm begging you. Your subscription means a lot to me. To Flourish with Academy. All right. So please subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.